Our Little Ghost by Louisa May Alcott Read for LibriVox.org by Nancy Beard February 2012, Kingston, New York Oft in the silence of the night, When the lonely moon rides high, When wintry winds are whistling, And we hear the owl's shrill cry, In the quiet, dusky chamber, By the flickering firelight, Rising up between two sleepers, Comes a spirit all in white. A winsome little ghost it is, Rosy-cheeked and bright of eye, With yellow curls all breaking loose, From the small cap pushed awry. Up it climbs among the pillows, For the big dark brings no dread, And a baby's boundless fancy Makes a kingdom of a bed. A fearless little ghost it is, Safe the night seems as the day, The moon is but a gentle face, And the sighing winds are gay. The solitude is full of friends, And the hour brings no regrets, For in this happy little soul Shines a sun that never sets. A merry little ghost it is, Dancing gaily by itself, On the flowery counterpane, like a tricksy household elf, nodding to the fitful shadows as they flicker on the wall, talking to familiar pictures, mimicking the owl's shrill call. A thoughtful little ghost it is, and when lonely gambles tire, with chubby hands on chubby knees, it sits, winking at the fire. Fancies innocent and lovely shine before those baby eyes, Endless fields of dandelions, Brooks and birds and butterflies. A loving little ghost it is, When crept into its nest, Its hand on father's shoulder laid, Its head on mother's breast. It watches each familiar face With a tranquil, trusting eye, And like a sleepy little bird, Sings its own soft lullaby. Then those who feigned to sleep before, Lest baby play till dawn, Wake and watch their folded flower, Little rose without a thorn. And in the silence of the night, The hearts that love it most, Pray tenderly above its sleep, God bless our little ghost. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.